हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस मेमोरी ग्लैंड टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड स्किन एंड देन सुपरफिशियल फेशिया इन द सुपरफिशियल फेशिया मेमोरी ग्लैंड और ब्लस्ट इज लोकेटेड दिस इज लोकेटेड इन सुपरफिशियल फेशिया इन द पेक्टोरियल रीजन This memory gland is present both in females and males, but it is rudimentary in males and it is well developed in females at puberty. Uh, there is a condition where even in males there is enlargement of breast, which is called as gynecomastia. In females, this uh, accessory organ uh, produces milk during preg after pregnancy, that is after propagation, for the nutritional value of the newborn baby. Location. Uh, it is mainly situated in the superficial fascia, and there is a small extension. You can see this extension. I think you can see, yeah, this one. The, this picture is not really good, so I do do it again. So this extension, this extension is uh, present in the superior lateral part, and it is called as axillary uh, tail of Spence. and this penetrates the deep fascia so this is axillary tail of spens so axillary tail of spens and it is present in the superior lateral part in superior lateral part and this is uh, penetrates deep fascia right rest all other part is in the superficial fascia and there is an aperture whenever this uh, uh, axillary tail of spens passes through the deep fascia there is an aperture in deep fascia and this aperture is called as foramen of longer this is the aperture which is foramen of langer so this uh, while passing there is aperture uh, in deep fascia and this aperture is called foramen of langer to see you can see the perfect diagram this is mammary gland and it is divided into four compartments basically upper medial lower medial upper lateral lower lateral upper medial lower medial upper lateral lower lateral and this is axillary tail of spens and this part is called as foramen of langer right so what is the shape of this breast shape of the breast is hemispherical in shape and this uh, what is the extent uh you can see here though it's not clear but i would like to see this is the second rib so this is the second rib it extends vertically from second rib to sixth rib so vertically it extends from second to sixth rib this is second rib and this is sixth rib so it extends vertically from second to sixth rib and horizontally it extends from lateral border of sternum to mid axillary line which is present here lateral border of sternum to mid axillary line so this is the extent of the breast so what are the relations of the pectoralis major so i think you got it so it is in the pre superficial fascia 
axillary tail of spines and its extent and shape and the qu quadrants and now relations so the relations include uh, superficial relations and the deep relations uh, that is in the deep there is you can see this uh, diagram in this diagram it is clearly noted that uh, there is uh, we'll see the relations from superficial to deep superficially this is breast and this is pad of fat which is present and deeply this is pectoral fascia right that is pectoral fascia and below this pectoral fascia or this pectoral fascia always covers pectoralis major muscle right and there are three muscles which lie under the uh, pectoralis major I mean under the breast they are subclavius yeah under the pectoralis major muscle there is uh, this is subclavius and this is pectoralis minor we, we will learn this in detail in our next class about these muscles right this is breast and this part is called as nipple where the infant sucks the milk and this is retro memory space so uh, if we come to the I mean this is retro memory space this retro memory space is uh, responsible for free movement of uh, breast to either right or left either laterally I mean up and down or right or left right and the relations if you really wanted to see the muscles which are deep are mainly three muscles one is this muscle is pectoralis major all the muscles extension i mean insertions and origins we will deal in the next class and the second muscle this muscle this muscle is serratus anterior and this is external oblique muscle these are the muscles which are present deep to breast so deep to breast first there is pectoral fascia and then there are three muscles which include pectoralis major serratus anterior and external oblique muscles right and now what is the structure of breast so breast mainly consists of skin stroma and parenchyma so this is a picture for structure of breast structure of breast mainly consists of skin right the skin is uh, covering the breast and presents two main features which are nipple and the areola right skin has two main features which is nipple and the areola so so first part is skin in the skin we deal with nipple which is a suckling part of the um, for the infants and this is conical projection at center of breast 
right and it is present generally at fourth intercostal space and this contains muscles that are smooth muscles it has smooth muscles uh, these smooth muscles will stiff and erect stiff and erect or flatten it right this nipple has some smooth muscles and uh, this nipple is the most sensitive part for tactile stimulation sensitive for tactile stimulation right this is nip this is about nipple nipple is a cortical part and it is present at fourth intercostal space and it has smooth muscles these smooth muscles will stiffen or erect or flatten the nipple the sensitivity for tactile stimulation is seen on the skin and then uh, the second part which we have to discuss is about areola this areola is a circular area which is pigmented and it surrounds the nipple this areola contains many sebaceous glands as you know the sebaceous glands produce oily secretions right and this oily secretions why what what is this need why, why is this oily secretions needed this oily secretions to prevent cracking of nipple and areola right it prevents cracking of nipple and areola during pregnancy this areola becomes darker and there are called as montgomery tubercles next stroma skin then stroma this whole part is the stroma right this stroma is basically the connective tissue connective tissue framework it is a connective tissue framework of the breast and it is divided into many compartments by the ligaments these ligaments are called as suspensory ligaments of cooper these ligaments are called as suspensory ligaments of cooper they are arranged in radial fashion they connect ducts of breast and pectoral fascia right these ligaments maintain the protuberance of breast right so uh, there are ligaments of cooper why are these present they maintain protuberance protuberance of breast so in old age these atrophy and thus breast becomes pedunculus Pedunculus is shaggy. This stroma mainly contains fat, which is evenly distributed. All this has fat and connective tissue. And the fourth part is parenchyma. This part is the parenchyma. which is the glandular tissue of the breast so 
this is the parenchyma of breast this parenchyma of breast mainly consists secretes milk which is required for feeding the newborn this mainly consists of 15 to 20 lobes which are arranged in radial fashion so there are 15 to 20 lobes in radial fashion so this is the lobes of the breast here I just showed three but there will be around 15 to 20 lobes which are arranged in radial fashion and they converge towards the nipple as you can see they are arranged in radial fashion and they converge towards the nipple and these lobes are now divided into lobules right these lobes are divided into lobules for which contain SNI so this SNI secretes uh, milk which from the lobules enters the lobes and this lobe is drained by lacticiferous duct that is each lobe has one lacticiferous duct in similar fashion there will be 15 to 20 lobes so 15 to 20 lacticiferous ducts these lacticiferous ducts converge at nipple right and these converge at nipple and these lacticiferous duct has a lacticiferous sinus this is the lacticiferous sinus see these are the lobes this is lacticiferous duct this is lobe this part is lacticiferous duct and this thing is this dilated end is lacticiferous sinus right so this is lobe and this part is lacticiferous duct and this part is lacticiferous sinus right so this lacticiferous sinus stores milk has reservoir and whenever there is stimulus this releases milk outside so this is the structure of uh, breast uh, so this ends the today's lecture Tomorrow we will deal about the arterial supply, venous drainage, nerve and lymphatic supply of the breast. Okay then bye.